Okay, I get it, artist block happens to all of us. Sometimes we just have trouble coming up with ideas of things that we want to draw or paint. But I've got good news for you because in this video, I'm gonna share with you 50 drawing ideas. Let's get to it. Hello there everyone, Matt here with TheVirtualInstructor.com and in this video I'm going to share with you 50 drawing ideas or painting ideas if you'd rather turn these into paintings. Of course, if you're experiencing artist block, it can be very frustrating, but in this video hopefully I can give you some ideas to help you out with that. Now before we get into the list, I'd like to remind you if you're new to the channel or if you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so you're notified when we upload new videos like this and also when we go live with our Getting Sketchy episodes where we create a drawing inside of 45 minutes live for you here on YouTube. If you haven't had a chance yet, I also suggest that you check out our membership program over at thevirtualinstructor.com. If you want to go deep with your drawing and painting, this is the place to do it. We have a broad variety of drawing and painting courses on a broad variety of subject matter and media there, including colored pencils, pen and ink, graphite drawing, acrylic painting, oils, pastels, generally any medium that you can think of is covered there in our membership program. There's a link in the description below if you want to go check that out. Now, if you just want to dabble a little bit and check out three of our course videos and ebooks for free, you can do that. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, if you like this video, make sure that you give it a like, a thumbs up. That'll also help other people who are looking for drawing ideas find this video as well. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into 50 drawing ideas. Now, for these 50 ideas that I've brainstormed for you, I've segmented them down into easy drawing ideas, ideas for drawing from your imagination, and some challenging drawing ideas as well. We'll start with the easy drawing ideas. Well, the first thing is just an old pair of shoes. Look no further than your closet to find a weathered pair of shoes. The older, the better. Another idea, of course, are wine bottles, a classic subject. Look for an interesting label for an additional challenge. Fabric or folds of cloth is a great subject for practicing your gradations of tone and value in your drawing. Now, another great idea are drawing eggs. Now, it might seem like a boring subject, but eggs actually help us understand gradations of value and give us better control over the material that we're using to create those gradations of value. A hammer or really any tools make great subjects for drawing. A hammer is rather simple and should be fairly easy to pull off. Game pieces are also an excellent subject for drawing. Just pull out a board game and check out the pieces. Some of them may make a nice subject for sketching. Seashells, another classical subject, but you're gonna find some great inspiration in the form of a seashell. Fruits are always great subjects for practice. Any fruit will do, a pear or a strawberry, and for an added challenge, slice it open. Another idea is an apple. Okay, I know an apple is a fruit, but apples are great subjects for exploring different mediums. So you can try the same apple with colored pencils, pastels, graphite, or whatever. And just like fruits are great subjects, vegetables are great subjects as well. And of course, when it comes to food, you don't have to just stick with the stuff that's good for you. You can also draw things like candy. Look for candies that have interesting wrappers for an added challenge. Each leaf that you pick up from the ground is different from the next, making them a great subject for practicing drawing. Now, sometimes you want to practice drawing, but there's just not a suitable subject to draw from life. And that's when drawing from imagination comes in. Now, here's a quick tip. If you want to get better at drawing from imagination, then you need to spend more time drawing from observation. The more you draw from observation, the better you're going to get at drawing from imagination. Now, let's look at a few ideas for drawing from imagination. Why not draw a person from history that you don't have a photo reference for? Imagine what a person from ancient history would have looked like and sketch your vision. Another idea is to draw a scene from history. Think back to some events in the history of the world and envision the scene as if you were there. One of my favorite ways to draw from imagination is using some form of linear perspective. There's one point, two point, and three point perspective, and all of those forms of perspective will help you create the illusion of space in your drawings. Basic forms make a great subject for drawing from your imagination. Draw a sphere, a cube, a pyramid, maybe a cylinder. You can practice your value and getting a full range of value in each one of the forms. Why not play around with some ink? Brush a little bit of water in place on your paper and dab some ink in spots. Then let it dry and try to make an image out of it from your imagination. Now, of course, if you want to get better at anything, any skill, especially like drawing and painting, then you need to challenge yourself. If we constantly draw or paint things that we find are easy, then we're never going to see any improvement in our artistic skills. 
That's why it's important to challenge yourself. Now, let's take a look at a few challenging drawing ideas. First up, a glass of water. Reflection and transparency are some of the hardest things to master. Reflective and transparent objects are always going to present a challenge, but they're easier than you might think they are. As long as we locate the values in the shapes of the values, then we can draw any reflective or transparent object. Another idea are your hands. This is a great subject waiting for you at the end of your arm. You will always have it with you, so there's no excuses here. Another great idea are your art supplies. Brushes, paint tubes, etc. are always great subjects for practice. Why not draw different types of trees? Get outside with your sketchbook and find a nice shady spot. Or another idea is to draw anything really, really small. And what I mean is draw it small on the paper. So you could draw a large subject that's large in reality, just make it really, really tiny and miniature on the surface. This will help you get better control over the medium that you like to work with. Or how about draw your favorite pet? If you haven't got a pet, then here's a good reason to get one. Marbles are challenging subjects that feature a lot of reflection and transparency. They also make a great subject for drawing. Of course, portraits are always a great subject. Try to draw people that you know for the added pressure of trying to capture that likeness. Or how about draw an old car? I'm talking a really old car here. If you see one out in the field, even better. Take photos when you come across a subject that may make a great piece of art. How about drawing a soda can? Now the labeling on the soda can can be a challenge, but for an added challenge, crumple that can up or just draw anything out of metal. Metal objects are usually reflective and present their own set of challenging textures. And speaking of textures, how about drawing some tree bark up close? All those wonderful textures are there for you to explore. Another challenging subject, of course, are ocean waves. Anything in constant motion is gonna be a challenge. And speaking of the sea, how about drawing your favorite sea creature? There are tons to choose from. Another idea is an old cabin in the woods. Maybe this is a good opportunity to work on your linear perspective skills. Another idea is old farm equipment. Much like the old car idea, old farm equipment is often weathered by the elements and features wonderful textures. Another idea, of course, is a sailboat or mini sailboats. If seascapes are your thing, then why not include a sailboat? Another challenging subject is drawing people standing in line. The human figure is the quickest way to improve your drawing skills. The human figure is perhaps the most complex subject out there. Or how about draw your favorite insects? Insects are also quite complex. Even the most simple insects are more complex than they may seem. We all know insects love flowers, so why not draw a flower up close? Or how about an exotic fish? Well, any fish, really. Another wonderful subject that can present a challenge is a feather, light in weight, but heavy in challenge. Sketch a feather as realistically as possible. How about drawing any detailed machine? Machines these days have become more sleek in their design. So if you want a real challenge, think in terms of an old machine, like an old typewriter. Now, not everyone's favorite, but definitely a good subject to draw for practice is a skull. And when it comes to portraits, you must have a strong understanding of the structure of the head. And a great place to start is with the skull. How about drawing water coming from a faucet or any other container? A moving subject is always an excellent challenge. And speaking of moving water, how about a creek in the woods? Be sure to include the elements that surround it as well, like perhaps a grassy bank. You could also draw any object that moves. Cars, motorcycles, planes. I know we already said a car, but earlier we were talking about an old car. How about drawing a new car? And speaking of cars, how about a set of keys? The subject may seem rather easy, but it's more complex than you think. And speaking of subjects that may seem easy but are a little bit more complex than they first seem, how about drawing those things at the end of your legs, your feet? And sticking with people, how about draw a face in profile? Drawing a face from the side is a little bit more difficult than sketching one from straight on. And don't forget your eyes. Eyes are always a popular thing to draw. How about get a mirror out and try to draw your eyes from observation? Or how about drawing a bird in flight? Again, another subject that's moving. Here's another one that you might want to use a photo reference for. So there you have it, 50 drawing ideas for your inspiration. Hopefully you're feeling inspired and motivated to create your own drawings and paintings, hopefully inspired by this list. Now, every piece of artwork that you saw in this video, every drawing and every painting, we have a lesson for over at the virtualinstructor.com. That's right, every single one of the pieces of artwork you just saw were made for a lesson series, a single lesson, or as a course video. So if you wanna check out our membership program, again, there's a link in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I wish you all the very best in your artistic success.